Hey guys here for another video today we're looking at Lindsay Pela's uh, obviously a request and uh, she is one of those only fans for those that don't know that uh, she you can follow her for free but you can't really follow her for free you have to make an only fans account you have to put your credit card information but you will not get charged if you follow them for free because i know there's a couple people that are a little skeptical about how only fans works uh i will say keep tabs on your bank account information because sometimes they might double charge that's just only fans being only fans i'm always on top of my banking and seeing if i get double charged and spam them to like a uh, customer service to fix that so definitely keep an eye on that Again, this video is for most, more, more so towards the people that are a little bit skeptical about getting a free OnlyFans account and what it consists of. So, uh, that's that. So, let's talk about Lindsay Palas. Uh, obviously, most people know her as that Instagram model. I heard of her from way, way back when she was in the Eric Andre show. If you guys watch Eric Andre, shout out to Eric Andre. Now, you take selfies of yourself over and over again on Instagram. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist? Because that is fucking mental. <laughs> <laughs> Or awesome. Uh, she was just trolling her entire time, and I'm like, who is she? Like, she just doesn't seem that much of a fun girl. Found her out on social media, and she's huge on social media. Holy shit. Uh, definitely a big 8.8 .8 million followers on her Instagram. And I was so curious what she actually does. I don't really know why she's famous, so I started doing my little background research on her, and I think she's just famous for being pretty, aka an Instagram model, aka nut material. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that she's doing OnlyFans. She's probably making a couple hundred thousands a month or a week easily. But there isn't anything I think that she is reputable for beside looking pretty. Which, nothing against that, right? I mean, if I die tomorrow, at least everyone remembered me being pretty, right? I, th I think that's what her mentality would be. I don't know. I would definitely want to make an impact in the world beside uh, being a bucket of fucking jizz for guys. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about her social media a little bit. So, like I said, her Instagram has 8.8 .8 million followers. She does have a Twitter of 1.2 million followers. She does have a podcast. I tried listening to it. Uh, holy shit, I just can't. I I know most people can't listen to me. I'm fucking annoying to some degree. But her, it's like, uh, it's like at least with Call Her Daddy, there's like some trolls. Like, I, li I, I it's listenable. I don't like Call Her Daddy. But hers, it's like a white girl like first world country issue type podcast i'm not really interested in that unless like you are a guy in a simp and you're really obsessed with her then i get that you might want to listen to that uh she does have her own website where she does promote her stuff uh she had a cool interesting bio i thought that was kind of interesting uh kind of detailing her whole thing i mean she got a history degree so that's great she can find out uh how many guys jacked off to her at certain dates and years and time and keep intact with that in history i, I don't fucking know Another thing I found funny in her bio was, as an outspoken empath, feminist, and activist, Lindsay amassed over half a million Twitter followers through her witty comebacks and sim stimulating tweets. Uh, no. <laughs> you got a half a million Twitter followers because you're just showing off your body and it's connected to your Instagram. Uh, I'm pretty sure, again, maybe I'm wrong, maybe guys that know her personally, I'm pretty sure if you didn't look like the way you did, you wouldn't be anywhere you are right now. I mean, let's just face it, you, your looks are way better than your personality. Your personality and windy comebacks aren't really, uh, you know, that's not Lindsay Palas's identity. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to check out her site, her bio, she does uh, sell a calendar if you guys want a calendar of her. I think that's really creepy if you have a calendar of a girl you like. I mean, that just seems a little obsessive to me. Uh, if you go to her shop, she does have a little bit of clothing. Um, again, doesn't really make sense to buy a genetically gifted t-shirt. I mean, you're just going to look like a simp walking down the street if you have this shirt. Honestly, you're better off making your own custom Lindsay Payless shirt if you want that. Uh, she does have a gallery for pictures if you guys want to see a little bit more. Obviously, that's not her main uh, stream of like uh, social media. It's just a couple pictures. So if you want pictures of her, obviously, her Instagram and Twitter is the way to go. So let's dive right into her OnlyFans. So like I said earlier, it is free to follow. But the thing is, that when you make an OnlyFans account, you have to put your information, private information, credit card, and all that other stuff. So I get why some people may be skeptical to uh, make an OnlyFans account and follow it. So uh, the way she works and her model is is uh her base subscription is free but everything else that you want you pretty much have to pay for and whatever free content she offers right is not really that good uh i think my issue with her OnlyFans is the way she promotes it so 
uh, if you see if you see some of the descriptions, you obviously think there's going to be a nude, right? Like uh, let me post this one right here. So this one says, "See, all, see my all natural triple D's hang out my white top and heart nipples falling out of the bottom. They are both hard. One is just in the sun. Then I pull out my panties up so you can see my sexy slit and back down so you can see my curvy ass. Emoji, emoji, emoji. Let's make this week super sexy week. So obviously." when you hear that description right you feel like she's gonna show some nudity she's gonna show some nipples she's gonna show some boobs uh i simped out and it's not really simping out i was just like curious because i don't want to misinform anyone uh if she shows nudes or not uh i did spend 16 dollars on it and there is no nudity the see all my natural ddds hanging out on my white top blah, blah blah it's just her wearing a tank top covering her tits again you don't see her nipples you don't see anything rated r and even the last picture of her and her curvy ass uh it, again you don't see much it's literally like a half her butt cut off uh so i can pretty sure she is one of those girls that she takes advantage of the way she puts on her the, her wording in the description and kind of teases it so for example look at my tits you're gonna see it it's gonna be great you obviously think as the consumer that wow she's promoting her only fans is like a sexy type thing so i'm sure she's gonna show some nudes but uh none of her pictures have any nudity and none of her videos have any nudity i know that's what people care about is the nudes honestly if you want to see nudes of her uh, you can find them on google there are leaks of that she does sell additional stuff through the dms honestly i don't think it's worth it i'm just shocked how much money she gets just from like simple messaging so for example her most recent post just dm dm'd you a ridiculous photo i've never shared and people tipped her $34 for that. It just doesn't make sense. And that's not even considering like the tips that she gets on some random posts. She gets up to $300 or $500 just for posting random things. And even the free stuff she gets tipped by, which again, doesn't make sense to me. Again, if you're a simp to her and you want to be noticed for some reason, obviously she doesn't care your pain. Someone to notice you. I think that's pretty uh, materialistic and artificial. So, I mean, if you're into that, awesome. But, uh, her OnlyFans isn't that great. So because it is free, I'm going to show you everything that is free. Uh, I'm allowed to do that. And same thing with the video. So I'm going to be detailing uh, everything. So like I said, uh, she does have 854 photos. And these are the free ones that you can get. The ones that are locked, you see that lock, you have to pay to see them. So I, mean, I don't think it's worth it. $25, $16, $6, $14 for just one picture. I don't think it's worth it. If you, again, that's just my opinion. If you guys really are obsessed with her and want to see more bathing suit pictures of her that others may not see, then okay. I, I think, again, I think that's a little weird and obsessive to even uh, do that. So that is the picture section. Again, there is no nudity. And if you do want to see nudity of her, you're better off just Googling shit. Trust me, Googling shit, torrenting shit, it's way, way more efficient than uh, what she has on her OnlyFans. Uh, she does have 37 videos and again it's the same model as her pictures where if you want to see some videos $16, $10, $11, $14, $60. Uh, it's just not worth it. The current videos that she has is very very short and they're very model-esque shoot wise so it just isn't anything sexual. So if you guys expect for OnlyFans to be very sexual you're not getting any of that. In other words it's most likely like another Instagram the only difference is that you're paying to see these individual Instagram photos. Uh, she does have more things in the dms so you guys want to buy that again i don't think it's worth it so she does have these videos for 14 dollars 12 dollars 5 dollars and 25 dollars and i was just doing some of the basic math just skimming through it if you want to see really full access of her only fans you're going to spend a couple hundreds of dollars you're probably going to get into the thousands to be honest uh if you want to see everything about her and that's her model nothing wrong with that it's just for me as a person that reviews only fans if it's worth really even looking at it even though it's free i don't think so i don't there's nothing wrong with the model i just don't think that her only fans is something that uh is really worth looking at comparing it to other girls because it's not really sexual it's not re there's no nudity it's just literally another instagram so uh lindsey payless i'm sorry even though your account's free that is something that her account reminds me of going to costco seeing like the you know there's like free samples of like the hot dog the mini hot dogs and then i see it and then there's like uh you know it's it's rotten you know and I, and i'm like oh okay the, the the sample is free it's not even worth getting sure it may not like taste completely horrible but it's not even worth really taking the time to try it you know what i'm saying so uh yeah short video i'm sorry you guys just made it like short and sweet and kind of quick and still learning how to do all this bullshit so uh yeah thanks guys for watching this video I never say this, I was watching a video of how like to get more subscribers 
and one simple thing is tell your viewers to sub in every video and that kind of enforces that so please fucking subscribe i you know everything helps likes help views help commenting helps even the negative even the hate stuff helps it just gets more the engagement up and gets more cpm on my end so uh, yeah thanks guys for watching this video and have a good day bye